In February and March 1969, Fokker demonstrated their F-28 Fellowship, PHMOL, in Australia, New Zealand, the Fiji Islands, Tonga, Samoa, and Norfolk Island. During this demonstration tour, a wide variety of runways were used with all types of surfaces, such as concrete, asphalt, grass, and gravel. Whilst in Australia, the opportunity was seized to carry out a series of takeoff and landing trials from an unpaved airstrip. The trials were held at Bacchus March, some 30 miles west of Melbourne, at an elevation of 503 feet, with a runway 5,120 feet long and 150 feet wide. The surface consists of firm sand with pebbles of up to one inch diameter. As will be seen from some of the landing shots, a strong crosswind prevailed which occasionally influenced the landings. held considerably in the study of the effect of the F-28 on unpaved runways and the possible harm of dust and stones thrown up. Also, there would be checks to see if ingress by the jet engines would take place. At the time the trials were carried out, the temperatures ranged around the 30 degrees centigrade mark. After each landing, the fellowship was carefully examined, particular attention being paid to the landing gear and tyres, the wing flaps and the aircraft belly. What's more, the engine intakes were scrutinised for ingress of stones and so on. As expected, no damage was found, nor was there any evidence of ingress into the engines. The dust stayed very close to the ground, irrespective of the variation in the flap settings of 9 and 25 degrees used to study the difference in ground effects. These trials, with their highly exacting environmental conditions, have clearly demonstrated the excellent suitability of the F-28 Fellowship for rough field operations. <laughs>